Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I'm just doing my uh, Bible study for the morning. Squeaky Bum's right here. Hi, Squeaky Bum. Can you look up and say hi to everyone? No? That's cool. That's cool. He's just playing and hanging out, keeping me company before we get our day started. Elio and I are trading places. He's on the outside of his crib and, I oh know his crib, his playpen. And I'm on the inside. We've got toys everywhere, but you guys know that's our life now. Should I zip myself in on the inside, Elio? Okay, I'm gonna zip myself up. Will you let me out? See you later. See you later, I'm on the inside. Hi, Lyle. Hi. <laughs> We're in the back seat. Dave's moving my stuff from this car into that car. That's the new vehicle. And I'm just feeding this little one because he's hungry. Um, so once he's done eating and Dave's done, we'll get into our new car and we're off. Goodbye, Brown Equinox. I've already noticed so many differences. Um, I already told you guys there's no CD player in the new vehicle. Um, what else do they change? Oh, you guys see how my side mirror has that like small little magnifier? They took that off the new car. As you can see right there, I'm kind of upset about that because I really got used to using that. So unfortunately, that's gone. Um, what else have I noticed so far? I feel like the center console is like the same. Um, that's all I've noticed so far. The seat felt different, but I figured that's a matter of adjusting my seat. We'll see. Um, Dave told me that the trunk space is much smaller than the new car. I really hope that's not true. I hope that's just a matter of moving the um, the middle row seat. What? You can move the middle row seat. I was saying the trunk being smaller. Yeah. I'm hoping it's a matter of just moving yeah. the middle row seat. Yeah, it could, could be. Yes. Yeah. Oh yes, there's all that stuff. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Good morning from Elio and I. Happy Thursday. It's breakfast time. He's got his peanut butter and toast. And I've got my margarine and toast. Right? And I've got my tea. Yum yum. So just some editing real quick while I have breakfast with this little guy. How's it taste? <laughs> He's such a messy eater. Okay. No one wants to see the food in your mouth. So. Okay. Hey. How's it going? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Good job. Nice and gentle. Back up we go. Ooh. Ooh. Can I show you how to do that? You go up and down. Up and down. Your turn. Up. Can I hold your hand and guide you to do it? No? Okay, that's cool. Push, push. Up, up, up. Okay, I'll let you figure it out. Can I shake your tambourine? Now we're moving on. My mom's downstairs with Elio, so while she's down there, I am doing Bible study real quick. I haven't um, got around to that yet today, and it's already uh, 2.30. And I'm also printing a birthday card for a friend, printing and cutting a birthday card for a friend. Like my hands are dry, sorry. Um, so that's kind of the design that I created, or whatever, I'm printing from my silhouette. Sorry guys, there's a glare. But yes, so we're making that into a card. I'll show you guys the finished product, or kind of as I go along. And then I've got my um, devotional planner out as 
usual. God, my hands are dry, guys. I'm so sorry I can, you were seeing this. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyways, let's get to that. Um, to, to this month, we're going to, I think, read, um, read on confidence is this month's topic. Ah, that explains it. Okay, so last month I did guidance. This month I'm going to do confidence for the month of February because, well, that is my word for the month. I think, I, I don't know if I told you guys about that, but if you go on my blog, I'm doing a one, one word is what it's called, one word 365 challenge. So instead of making a resolution, I've chose a word to, go, to I can't speak, to govern my year and that word is confidence. So that's what I'm doing. Anyways, we get to read it. So, oh, come on, focus, focus for me. There we go. So the design has been cut. So that was the one I showed you guys on my screen. It's been cut onto here. I'm going to peel it off and kind of just give you guys like a live reveal. Hopefully it cut perfectly. Sorry, guys. It's hard to do this with one hand. Um, okay, so we're not going to peel that side because that side isn't coming off as easily because the paper is a little stuck. Um, but... I'm gonna put the camera down. Oh. There we go. Um, most of it came off the paper, off the um, yeah. Most of it came apart. Some of it still kind of stuck on. Um, didn't. Sometimes they tell you to do a double cut, and I didn't because I just wanted to try with a single cut. So I'm gonna take my exacto knife and just kind of go over those lines so that it'll just kind of fall out easily, and create that pattern. I bought a brand new exacto knife because I haven't had one since like elementary school when you know we used it for arts and crafts. Um, so I just bought this one. I don't know if it's the right one for something like this, but the guy at Michael said it was a good buy, so whatever. Okay, so I've got my X-Acto knife, and we're just gonna uh, hold the camera back a little bit so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here. Um, this is really hard to do with one hand. There we go. So that should just come right off now. There we go. So you guys get the idea. I'm just going to do that for the rest of the card now. And I'll show you guys when I'm done. So there we have it. Let's move that out. There we go. There we have it. Fully cut out. The outlines are all out. So I'm going to put this onto a white card stock and kind of make a card out of it. And I'll probably just show you guys when I'm fully done. You don't see the whole process in between. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the card we're making today. Little boy's having his uh, appetizer, we'll call it? Sure. Sure. Dinner served. We've got green beans, risotto, and tilapia. And there's Dave's right there. He doesn't like fish, so we'll see how this goes. I figured out, oops, sorry. I figured I would try a new fish recipe that wasn't um, grilled. Because I feel like when it's grilled, it keeps the fish taste more. So I did a little light frying. Oh. And I seasoned it the way I seasoned our shrimp because I figure you like that seasoning, so it should help. We'll try it. Uh huh. You gonna try some fish? Yeah! You've been really good with eating today. And that makes mommy very happy. Yeah, let's ruin it with fish. Really, Dad? If he's Sad got the found gene in him, he's not gonna like it. Yes, you will. Not if he's got the found gene. Mm -hmm. So are you my son, or are you a mailman? Mailman. 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 <laughs> hey, don't you laugh. Don't you laugh. <laughs> Was that funny? <laughs> no, I mean on the joke. Huh? Am I the butt, am I the butt end of the joke? Okay. He's got a lot to say today. Yep. A ba -ba. A -ba -ba. A -ba -ba. <laughs> That's funny. Boo! Boo! <laughs> A boo! Okay, it's time to eat. It's time to eat. Just stop it. It's time to eat. Can you say grace? Can I fold your hands? Close your eyes? Bow your head? You didn't do it. <laughs> okay, we're going to see. So the card's all done, guys. There it is. Happy birthday. Um, I'm just gonna do that so you guys get to see the greeting. Um, and then I stamped on a sentiment thing right there. 
and then just signed our name and all that good stuff. So there it is. So I stamped that image on. It is a stamp that I have right here. There it is. Um, you guys can see that. There, I stamped it on and then I colored it in. And then I stamped happy birthday as well on the front. So there it is. And it's a stamp from this collection. It's from um, a store called Mommy Lay Designs. It says MLD right there. It's called Mommy Lay Design. It's the Divas Kit. So anyways, that's what I used. Ta-da! So now the next step is I'm going to make an envelope for the card. I'm using my Valentine's Day paper pad set from Michaels. Um, because the card is not a regular sized card, a regular sized envelope won't fit it. So I'm going to make my own envelope out of this. I figured why not use Valentine's Day. The birthday is a February birthday and everyone knows that's Valentine's month. So why not? They have some pretty cool designs here. But I'm going to go with this one. How do I make an envelope, you ask? Using my... We are Memory Keepers 123 Punch Board. It can make envelopes, it can make bows and boxes. It's pretty cool. Um, if you guys don't know how this works, you can just YouTube, um, Google it. Um, but I'm going to use it to make an envelope that fits the size of that card. So there's like a guide on the side. Um, so you choose what card size you have. And that card is a 5x5, five five, which is right there. So that's the paper size I need, 8 3 eight inches and three eighths and that's clearly way bigger than that so I'm gonna trim this paper down to be that size and then I'll punch it and make an envelope out of it and there we have it envelope is all done and ready for the card if I know where I put the card you guys can probably hear Lyle crying in the background him and Dave are um, figuring themselves out to go to bed there's the card so let's put it in the envelope so there we have it, and it goes. I think I overestimated the size of the card. I didn't really measure it properly, but that's okay. It's better to be bigger than smaller, right? And then we're gonna seal it up, and I'll probably use a label to address it, because obviously it's gonna be hard to write the address on that clearly. Um, but boom, all done. Dinner time for Elia. Well, dinner number two. You mm -hmm. already had your solid dinner. Now it's bedtime snack time. How about that? Bedtime snack time for a lot of y'all. Uh-huh. Like my envelope, Dad? Looks pretty snazzy. Thanks. What do you think, son? It's got hearts and mm -hmm. wiggle lines mm -hmm. and other things. Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Looks like a Valentine's Day card. I know. That's what happens when you're born in February. Uh, okay. Is that it? Is that one that turn? I guess that makes sense it would end on that. The end. I can share. You can share. You can share. <laughs> you can. There you go. I'll share with you. Which one? Pull this one. Look. Ah! Whoop! Ah! Whoop! Guys, we are off to bed. Um, while I was sleeping, obviously. So we're gonna get some rest, and um, tomorrow's Friday. Yay! Oh, I am so tired. But anyways, um, have a good night, guys. You're so messy, Isle. Why? Why?
Sometimes. It stopped, Elio. Elio. There he goes. <laughs> I see you. Tell everyone you had a good nap. Yeah. Elio, that is that. Making a birthday card with my silhouette, and I've got my exacto knife out to just cut out the pieces that didn't fully come off from the machine. <laughs>